In case this is a new video, hi everybody, it's Dara, this is Herbie, he's my 85 year young dad who's gone organic vegan 10 months ago, no aches, no pains, feeling great, looking 20 years younger, everybody's watching it here. I made a salad. <laughs> <laughs> I made a salad, Herbie, God, for you. That's um, terrific. It's got arugula, it's got zucchini, it's got um, pine nuts, it's got fresh lemon juice or vitamin C. Um, it's got gorgeous avocado, it's got a little bit of salt, it's got some you know, minerals on it, I put probiotics and enzymes, and I did a teeny dribble of agave. I hardly ever use agave, but it makes it a little bit of sweet, which is counterbalances the arugula. Use some other sweetener if you want. Wow. But basically, I want you to say whatever you want to say. All right, well. Come, wait, you're, I'm mic'd and you're not. <laughs> so speak loud and talk okay. to everybody up there. Uh, one thing, uh, Wednesday night, I uh, went to uh, Miss Williamson's... Uh, Marianne Williamson. Isn't, right. And they had there as She's the main... She's running for? For Congress in the mm -hmm. 33rd District of California. Yes. But uh, in order to show that one of the strong points of Marianne's campaign is that what's going on with food in this country. And uh, this Robin... Uh, O'Brien, yes. who uh, the New York Times, in an article, I don't know how long ago it was, uh, called her the Erin Breckovich of... Erin Brockovich. Uh, uh, <laughs> we got company. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, of, of the food thing. Mm -hmm. And a very, very bright woman. And uh, she started a family very early uh, in her marriage. And in no time flat, she had children of... Uh, five, four, three, and one years old, and somewhere down the road, which is about eight years ago or so, one of the child got sick, and they went to check out what it was that caused the child's sickness. They found that uh, it was some food. They looked at the label, and that started her off, because then, because of her previous job, she was a, a, a stock analyst in, on Wall Street, and the people that she met uh, she was able to meet with uh, executives from Monsanto and from Kraft Food and companies like that, very large. And one of the things that made the biggest impression, I mean, she had, the whole speech was very impressive. Uh, I imagine it was close to an hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, was the fact that when she learned that Kraft Food Company was giving a healthier product to Europe, because Europe has banned all the GMOs. Mm -hmm. And in America, because of the food companies and uh, uh, for, uh, uh, chemical companies like Monsanto, that they have lobbyists in Washington that they can use the GMOs, the generic uh, modified uh, seeds and so on. Mm -hmm. And this is actually putting poison in our body. They're getting much more uh, product out of their farms and even... Um, that uh, Robin brought out that most of the farmers are really against what they're doing, but in order to make a living, this is they're they're almost forced to uh, 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 make their products with what the uh, with with these GM GMOs, and, and they have a, a strong feeling that it's going to affect the soil that they're growing this food in. Yes. And here, Kraft sends because most, or if not all, of Europe bans GMOs, because it's bad for you. It's, it's chemicals. It's, uh, uh, you, you just don't want that in your body. And in order to cater to the European consumer, Kraft makes whatever the product they're pushing, whether it be macaroni or whatever, you name whatever the food that they're selling, uh, that they're not allowed to. It's against the law. So Kraft makes a healthy product for Europe, and gives America the ones with the chemicals. Because we allow it. Right. We're allowing it. Yeah. And as she pointed out, uh, which is, uh, um, I guess, how Washington works, unfortunately, at different times, is the fact <clears throat> that over the years, there have been agencies um, made in Washington to help the consumer. Mm -hmm. And she named the different initials of some of the uh, things. And what's happened in the last few years is with the amount of lobbyists they have and how much money they're spending in Washington, because politicians need money. I remember just to distract a little, 
that Senator. Um, uh, uh, I don't know if you said names. Well, okay. Not. I okay. Don't know. All right. Are you uh, he's he's passed away. Uh, uh, he's a senator from New Jersey. Lautenberg. Lautenberg. And he, he, uh, you weren't going to say anything bad about him. No, no. You probably but, shouldn't mention the companies either, but it's okay. No, well, uh, he resigned after serving 12 or 18 years in the Senate. And the reason and rationale he gave was he's spending 50% of his time raising money in order to run again with the, all the, the high costs of, of running for election. So uh, it, 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 money is very important in Washington to politicians. So with the thousands of lobbyists, not hundreds, but thousands of lobbyists, whether it's mm -hmm. for the pharmaceutical, whether it's for unions, whether it's for the beef industry, you name it, uh, they, they don't have the middle class or the, even the poor people really at heart. It's to do the things what the companies want to do, even though it's against uh, our health. And... Uh, so that these agencies that were created to help us are now acting as if they're there to help the manufacturers, the companies, rather than protecting the public. I mean, this is, the, and the only thing, a suggestion that I can come up with. for Marianne Williamson, those of you who can. Right, go ahead. that's it. As well as, uh, is to take the time to write your congressman, or if you know him, to make a call on him, because Every one person who writes a letter or speaks to a, a representative, that represents like a hundred people because they know way out of proportion, most people will not take the time to write them a letter. Mm -hmm. And if there's enough people out there wanting that, that laws to help us so that uh, we're not eating things that have um, the, uh, uh, the uh, antibiotics that are shot into animals, uh, the uh, pesticides that are used and the different GMOs. I mean, because this is hurting a lot of people. The other way we can vote is with our dollars because it's like a machine. It goes towards the money where the money is. So if we show that we're buying this food, they, they're going to notice. So it's really important to, to, pu to put your money where your mouth is and buy this stuff. So yes, we're, we're the pioneers in this movement, and it might be a little bit more expensive for us, but the more we buy, the more it will trickle down and become more affordable for other people. And I want to say that Herbie is a perfect example that he didn't, this is one of the best examples of eating a raw food or vegan diet, is that all of this has been going on for a large percentage of his life. But now that he's awake, he's like awake from literally cleaning out his body and being awake here and awake in his head and awake in his heart and his mind is working better and he's open to this information. That's what happens. It's almost as if we wanted to be sleeping and numb so that we mm. don't wake up and notice these things. But enough people wake up like this and speak up and by this, things have to change. So that's why it's really important to share the message that healthy food does so much more than make you look better or feel better. It's good for the environment. It's good for our children. It's good for politics. It's, it's Very good for the children. It's amazing statistically how the different medical problems that are affecting our young children that are being born now, and, and, and even though they can't uh, prove it, but the... Uh, the correlation is very much there because in the last 10 years, uh, a lot of children's uh, problems, and, uh, well, even they mentioned the word aut autism, yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, that it, it's more than doubled. Mm -hmm. And uh, the correlation is most people, they can't prove it, but it has to be, has to do with all the chemicals that are being put in the food that mothers and adults are either eating or mothers are giving to their children because we've been brainwashed, you know, and uh, one of the first things that we I've learned is that if possible, you give up your dairy products, whether it be ice cream and regular milk, so you okay, can buy yeah, almond milk. Just dairy, yeah, buy almond milk and, and right. do and, without but, that. And one of the things that come up, which I'm sure some people out there would say, well, gee, it's so expensive, it's so expensive to mm -hmm. buy organic vegan food and yes no one can say it isn't uh more expensive but what uh, 
what we're saying is you're going to save on, you won't have extra hospital costs. Yes. Uh, you have to maybe give up something, whether you're smoking or whether maybe going out one, one uh, night uh, a, uh, a week in order to a restaurant because the money that you're spending on food is for your own health, your own life, to make it a better place for wherever you are and, and how you look at the world and how you personally feel and how you can accomplish things that you want when you're healthy. But if you're depressed, forget it. You know what I mean? It, uh, that's not in the, the deck of cards. And so, uh, as I say, it was a very inspiring talk that uh, Robin did. And in fact, I, someone took a picture of her with me because I, I... Oh, you got a picture with Robin O'Brien? That's but, awesome. But, but uh, I, I didn't get the name of the woman who took the picture, but... She'll uh, find you. You're famous. <laughs> And, uh, but it, it just was such an inspiring thing, and I had the, uh, I was one of the people who raised the question uh, of, uh, at first I, I complimented Robin on her great uh, talk, and uh, I used to put in the plug for Oh know. my goodness. <laughs> and a couple of people who knew you there, Bobby was there, yeah. she came over, and, uh, and a couple other people You're saw so that. Sweet. Yeah, That's so sweet. That's a sweeter <laughs> But oh the, the, it, there's so much to be, that it's going on there and we have to make ourselves aware and we each doing our little part can add up to a, a, a flood. Mm -hmm. And so uh, if you can write a letter uh, and maybe organize a, a group uh, to do that, I mean, the, it's amazing, as I say, because in Congress, the senators and Congress people, when they get a letter, it's way out of proportion as yeah. the number of people who really are thinking that. Yes, yes, you said that. Uh, is it time to eat? <laughs> no, no, I think that was amazing. Everything you brought up, like, wow, like that's just unprompted, totally amazingly mental clarity that you have to just, that's mm -hmm. openness to be able to channel and let that information come through and have access to it without stumbling. That's pretty amazing. So I'm going to post the, the video of Kirby from a couple of years ago, maybe, yeah, a couple of years ago in New Jersey, and you didn't speak like this. I, I'm going to pay you not to post that. <laughs> All right, Matt, I don't have to post it. There's no, a serious can. before, and this is the after, and we didn't plan this. This just happened, and it's magnificent and beautiful, and I'm so happy for your health and wellness. Want to try the salad before we shut the video? Of course. Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Kirby, and, he's doing uh, so amazing. I'm so this, proud of him. This, this is the profit, so to speak, of being in my daughter's home. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. He's thanking me, and I'm thanking you guys for being here, because that means we're not alone in this. We're all together. You like it? Okay. We're going to go eat. We love you guys. Get your greens on. Definitely. We'll see Definitely. you soon. You want to get your greens on? Get your greens on. For We're sure. over there. Oh, okay. You get your greens on. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see your bright baby blues. <laughs> Thank you.